Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our Jaspi 7-box football mixer. And we're giving away a Tyreek Hill autographed jersey. There it is. So at the end of the break... At the end of the break, we'll uh, we'll randomize everybody's names and give away that Tyreek Hill autographed jersey. Here are the boxes involved right here, and here are the people involved in this break. All the lovely people. Where do they all come from? There it is. There we go. Tyreek Hill football mixer. Pick your team two. Cody Curtis, last spot mojo. Thanks to him, and thanks to everybody for making this break possible. Couldn't do it without you. I really appreciate it. All right. Uh, there's no checklist that associates these college players with their teams. So we're going to go by our usual Jaspies non-pro uh, non uniform rules, right? So it'll go to the team that they are currently on or the team they were last associated with. Watching some AAF football right now. Some of these players could be on an AAF team. It'll be on what, whatever team they were associated with protein they were associated with before that. Nice. Craig, not in this break, but watching on TV, laptop, and your cell phone? Nice. Never miss a moment. Colton saying, I'm trying to watch, but don't have very good phone signal right now. Switch to Wi-Fi. Switch to Wi-Fi. We do stream at 720p, ladies and gentlemen, so make sure that you are streaming at the highest quality possible to maximize your Jaspi experience. Ooh, Orlando. Apollo's just scored a touchdown. Wide open. No one seemed to slip either. It looked like... All right, and they have to go for two-point conversions, too. I got it. All right, we start off with Jason Witten, who's back out of the Monday Night Football booth. Couldn't hack it. Wasn't as good as Tony Romo. <laughs> And is back with the Cowboys. And Trey Quinn is your die cut autograph. Six out of ten. Trey Quinn, I think, is a redskin. Gilo asking if I played sports in uh, in school. I did. Trey Quinn is a Redskin. It's still a Redskin. I did. I played played a little JV tennis. Uh, Eric Leal with the Redskins. Thank you, Dan. Played some, uh, played some intramural flag football in college for a few years. It's pretty good at that. Pretty much Julian Edelman on a football field. We got Kenny Hill, Benny Hill. Do, 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 do. Kenny Hill. I want to say is a Seahawk. Sounds like a Seahawk, doesn't he? No, not a Seahawk. Oh, 
Oh, he was last associated with the Raiders. Plays for the Montreal Alouettes now. This was a practice squad guy, undrafted. Uh, that goes to Oakland. That'll be for Jonathan Best with the Raiders. <laughs> Julian Edelman, mediocre with a great QB. No. Just fearless over the middle. Gilo, fearless over the middle. I guess it's flag football. I know I'm not going to get hit, so. <laughs> Easy for me to be fearless over the middle. There's Josh Sweat, who I believe is an Eagle. 40 out of 49. Let me confirm that. Josh Sweat is currently a Fly Eagle Fly for Bulldog fan. Will Comstock with that. Right, fearless in the middle in flag football is like saying my batting average was great in T-ball. That's right, Gilo. That's right. Um, played a, was, was a pretty good slosh ball player. You guys ever play slosh ball? Everyone know what that is? You put a, you put, it's softball, but basically you put a keg at second base Right, you, uh, regionally you may call it something else, but we call it slosh ball. On second base, right, so home, first, second, you put a keg there and you have to drink a red cup of your favorite adult beverage. Janorian Grant, I don't know what a Janorian Grant is. Before you can advance. And other runners can't pass you up. They, you, the per lead runner has to, has to advance first. Grant goes to the Baltimore Ravens. Fun game to play. Ravens, Patrick K with the Ravens. There's Tyreek Hill. We're giving away his autographed jersey at the end of the break. Everyone has a shot at it. Just randomize everyone's name at the end. No, there, there was, there was no hippie lettuce at third base. I, w I would, that would definitely, I would fall asleep in the middle of the game. Damien, not Damien, Damon Webb. Damon Webb is a Tennessee Titan. That'll be for Ed Aaron's. Gilo says we used to get uh, slosh before the softball game. Uh, no, this is getting sloshed during softball game. Send out that die cut in Mayfield as well. They, there's Steve Spurrier. He's uh, he's coaching the Orlando Apollos right now. Trey Flowers. Sounds like a sounds like a giant. No, that's Eric Flowers. Trey Flowers sounds like a Viking. Trey Flower is a Seahawk. That goes to Kyle Kramer and the Seahawks. Well, that's a touchdown for the Salt Lake Stallions, ladies and gentlemen. Woo.
That's right. Steve Spurrier was the coach when Jadavion Clowney was at South Carolina. And now Clowney's got a bruised shoulder. Now Clowney's got a bruised shoulder. Indeed, Steve. Indeed. So frustrated. All right, 2017, absolute football, absolutely. <laughs> Dave Dallison loves that one. He, Dave, he's, uh, he's on TV right now. He's coaching the Orlando Apollos as we speak. With 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Salt Lake Stallions just scored, making it, uh, and the two point conversion to make it 11. 14 11. It's an exciting game. Absolute Inc. James Lofton. Nice. 20 out of 99 for the Buffalo Bills. William Punt with the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! One hundred eight out of one seventy five. John Ross, Rook Force, Rookie Force going to Scott V and the Bengals. Out of one seventy five. Gabe, you want some two thousand eighteen absolute? Go. Uh, join Nick tomorrow and be like, "Hey, Nick, get some two thousand eighteen absolute football." We got Jim Brown, rookie reflex from our Raiders, Elijah Hood, to three twenty-five. That rookie going to Jonathan Best, and my Raiders. We have historical duels: Joe Montana and Steve Young. Game worn materials. So that'll be a randomizer between the Chiefs and the Niners. Chiefs, John Watson, Niners, John John Watson. Has Chiefs and no randomizer. Nick calling in sick too much slosh ball. It's raining. You can't play slosh slosh ball in the rain. It doesn't work. Yeah, people think I make the decisions around here, Mr. Mike Dice. That is not true. You just say you just you just go on you just go on there and you just open up cards, Joe. That's all we need you to do. That's all I. That's it. I'm just the, I'm just the face. I don't actually have real responsibility here. There's Curtis Martin to 4.99. The challenge with slosh ball, Darren Porter, is the location. 98 out of 99. Turns out most public parks don't enjoy the 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 mass consumption of alcohol. So you have to find like a private school or like a or like a school on elementary school on Sunday or a high school on Sunday that's not open with a with a field kind of tucked away from the from Street View. There's the juice OJ Howard, nice triple relic and autograph for Chris Ensworth. So you can set up the keg there. Otherwise, the police come by and then you got to run away. Not that this ever happened, but sometimes you have to run away from the cops. Sometimes you lose a keg in your deposit. Sometimes things like that happen. That was 2017 Absolute Football. Let's get into some select from 2018. All right, 2018 select. Some good stuff here, as always. <laughs> right. We don't want to get arrested. Uh, Darren Poor, I, I, I'm too pretty for prison. 
Can't get arrested. Definitely be. Definitely would drive away, and and lead lead him on a police chase in my Tesla. <laughs> No, I'm no snitch. It's just, uh, it's just that turns out, turns out, uh, neighbors at uh, at high schools or middle schools don't like a bunch of boys and girls gathering together and playing softball loudly with a keg at second base on uh, on public school property. Uh, this XRC card will be randomized to someone. So here's what we're gonna do: the Tyree Kill jersey will be the first name on the randomizer. Second name will be the XRC card. And points will be the third name on the randomizer. There's Adam Thielen die cut to 75. Seventy-three out of seventy-five. There's Melvin Gordon, twenty-six out of fifty. That's some nice color in that patch. Nice chargers. That'll be for Thomas Bove and the Bolts. How long do you think, folks? I was just thinking this because I realized the AAF, which we have on TV, it's out of 50, by the way, uh, they don't have kicking of any kind, right? No kickoff. No, There's no kickers. How long do you think it'll be before the NFL doesn't have any kickers? More Melvin Gordon out of 125. Not as nice of a pass. When do you think the NFL gets rid of, of kickers? And will they change it? Will, will we not call it football anymore? I guess they're still punting. There's Christian McCaffrey to 99. And out of 25, Jersey and Otto Harrison Smith. 14 out of 25. Vikings. Cody Curtis, last spot mojo. Nice. There's Derek Carr. Will he get traded? Will, the, will my Raiders trade Derek Carr? I like Derek Carr, but I don't know. Maybe the Raiders don't like him. I have no idea what they're doing anymore. There's DeAndre Hopkins Black. One of one. Die cut. James Ferreira and the Houston Texans. Nice. One of one, DeAndre Hopkins for James. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. That is nice. Out of 175, my homies, Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Samuels at the end. Nice box. Huh. Uh, Drift is saying kickers won't matter because the origins of the word football was that the game was created or gained popularity at the end of the 1800s when, when most sports were done on horseback. Hence football because they played on their feet. So if kickers are gone, it won't matter because they're still playing on their feet. All right. Mario, what if they made them play on... On, a, on, on on roller skates. We just call it skateball then, right? All right, so let's get rid of kickers then. There's Bo Scarborough Fair from Luminance Football. Where does Bo Scarborough go in 2018? Luminance. 
or plates and patches for that matter. Is he a cowboy or a jaguar? a Jaguar? Was he on the Cowboys for a second in this checklist? Yeah, I think of this plates and patches checklist, this goes to the Cowboys. Because Luminance Football has him as a Cowboy. Plates and patches doesn't have him in there at all. We're gonna go with, we're gonna go with Cowboys by the checklist. Did you really bounce around that much? Jaguar, Seattle as well? Alright, so Jacqueline with Dallas. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop! All right, there's Marvin Jones to 50. Lions behind Devin McCourty is Zach Ertz, 38 out of 45. Full coverage relic. Nice colors in there for the Eagles. Bulldog fan with that one. And we have, wow, Rod Woodson All Hall autograph. Seven out of 20. That goes to Jeffrey Punt and the Steelers. Nice. All right, let's go with 2018 Limited Football. Yeah, Gilo, I agree. Moving the kicker would be a little odd, but I feel like we're trending in that direction, getting rid of the kicker. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I could see getting rid of kickoffs, but I th they got to keep field goals, right? And extra points. I mean, in this day and age, it seems like there's, there's a, a penalty on every single kickoff. And so, which kind of, I don't know, this is a little annoying. So might as well just get rid of it. <laughs> Such a waste of time. And penalty on every single kickoff. All right, Odell Beckham Jr. out of 99 reveals... A Lamar Jackson, rookie Phenom's Relic, 52 out of 99. Ravens, Patrick K. Behind Matt Ryan, let's do the regular auto first. Behind uh, Stephon Diggs is out of 50, Jair Alexander. Right, it's either penalty or touchbacks, Moreno. Why not just get rid of it? You know. All right, behind Matt Ryan is the jersey auto of Dante Pettis. 22 out of 75. Two-color jersey and autograph. They're playing all by myself on the PA. <laughs> I don't know what the reference was. 
All right, Niners. That goes to John Watson in the Niners. All right, two boxes to go and some randomizers at the end. Um, you guys can vote. Should we do the mini helmet first or best of first? First to three wins. Helmet, best of. Go, type in the chat. First to three will go, will win. Helmet, best of, best of, helmet, helmet. Helmet first. All right, for America's favorite game. And remember, stuff like college helmets will go to the team they play for the longest. And I guess, I don't know if there's any coaches or anything. If there's any coaches, it'll get randomized to, to one person in the break. There's the TriStar thing. Where do they usually have a little card here? Oh, okay, there it is. All right. Okay, who am I? Who am I? I'm a 10-time Pro Bowl selectee, an eight-time first-team All-Pro. I'm a Super Bowl champion, part of the 1980s All-Decade team, two-time AP, not Arthur Peru, Associated Press Defensive Player of the Year award, although I think Arthur Peru would give this guy Defensive Player of the Year, three-time UPI NFC Player of the Year, Played college football at Baylor University. Joined the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1998. Oh, sorry, Arthur. Not not a cowboy, but but I think this is a good player. I think everyone would agree. Darren Porter's got it. I want winners. I want players that want to win. It's Mike Singletary. For the Cowboys, or Bears, sorry, Bears mini helmet. Not hating on the Cowboys. I have no, I have nothing against the Cowboys. They've done nothing to me, Arthur. I'm an AFC guy. There's Mike Singletary's silver ink. Uh, we pulled his jersey for, I think, TJ not too long ago. But this is his mini helmet. Uh, he's the coach of the Memphis Express, I believe. Uh, Colton Carver. There you go, Colton. Colton Carver with the Bears. That's a new guy. I'm pretty sure it's a new guy. New guy mojo. Nice. All right, now some Leaf Best of Football. Carry on Johnson, carry on my wayward son going to the Lions, Alan Murdoch. All right. PSA, to, should we play Who Am I with this too? Might, might as well. We've got time. We've got time tonight. Uh, type in that guy's name. All right, who am I? Uh, I am obviously an American football player in the National Football League. I don't want to give this away too early. I'm a running back. I have a career 1,611 rushing yards, which is about a 5.1 rush yard per carry, 22 career rushing touchdowns, 162 receptions in my career for 1,535 receiving yards. I have now nine receiving touchdowns. Was born in uh, July in Norcross, Georgia. I stand at 5'10", 215. Went to Norcross High School. Uh, went to uh, went to Alabama before leaving. Leaving? Did he leave? 
No, he was injured at Alabama. Redshirted, unable to break into the class that featured a bunch of, bunch of guys at Alabama. And then due to behavioral issues, I was banned from practicing with the team and then suspended from their bowl game, from Alabama's bowl game. Then I went to Hutchinson Community College and then settled in at the University of Tennessee. I was drafted in 2017 in the third round at pick 67. Two-time Pro Bowler, second-time All-Pro, NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year in 2017, PFWA All-Rookie Team. And this is a PSA 10, Alvin Kamara, rookie autograph from Origins Football. Nice. There you go. Who has the Saints? Sam Rail with the Saints. Nice one for Nolens. There you have it. Randomizer time. Time to give away stuff. All right, so there's the Tyreek Hill jersey. All right, there's his autograph right there. JSA stuff. So that'll be the first name on the randomizer. We'll get the Tyreek Hill jersey. Second name, we'll get the first tight end taken in the draft, the XRC card. And the third name, 250 points. So let's go back to the list. There's a list. So everyone from Garrett down to Eric Leal and everyone in between has a shot at the extra stuff. Let's randomize that list. One and a four, five times. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, and a one, fifth and final time. After five times, congrats to the top three will get something. Three is Eric Leal. You get 250 points. Two is Jacqueline Morales. You'll get the uh, XRC tight end one card. And on the top, Garrett Strauss. There you go, Garrett. I don't think, did we call your name at all in this break? I don't think we called your number at all in this break. You get a Tyreek Hill autographed jersey, a custom jersey, I believe. Perfect for framing. There you have it. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.